Hello everyone, and we're back with another video today, and as you can tell, it's going to be something a little different. Today, we're going to do product review. As you can tell here, we have Armorworks' AEW Custom Guns. They were nice enough to send me something to try out, a pistol for me to kind of give a go and um, do a bit of a sample test and uh, kind of just give a review on it. And so here we go. Um, let me know how everything goes in the comments below. This is my first time trying a product review, so uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. So as you can see here, they got the big AW Custom logo here. It's uh, Armorware Works, as you can tell right there. Armorware Works is a Taiwanese company. Um, we're also based in Hong Kong as well. And um, right off the bat, I really like the design of the box. Um, even though it's just simple cardboard, they've actually taken a lot of time to kind of make sure that the present it's very presentable. And there are a lot of options here that you can see using QR code to kind of further your um, the user friendliness of the gun. For example, just by scanning here, you get the owner's manual, you get um, availability for replacement parts, you can register your pistol, which allows you to go into community forums and just use basically their online services. And then finally, also scan it for basically maintenance tips and um, for different products they can use for maintenance as well. So the gun that they've sent me is actually the VX series, the VX0101. Hopefully you can see that right there. And um, as you can see, they even have a QR code so that you can kind of search up a little bit more about the VX0101. But without further ado, why don't we just open the box and have a look at the gun itself. So right off the bat, you can see there is an owner's manual within this. Um, Pretty much, it looks like it's the same sort of. Uh, yep, it's the same sort of details as the you would what you would get from scanning the QR codes. But initially, you can tell you it just gives you a lot of different information, um, general sort of safety uh, procedures, always wear eye pro stuff like that. Uh, but it does give you a good idea of how much it weighs, what kind of gas to use, different kinds of magazines, and then also if you want to register your gun, you get all these benefits from it. Basically, similar to what we saw on the front of the box. Okay, so. We'll just put that aside. And now when we look at the gun itself. So as you can see here, packaged in a plastic sort of bag here. Why don't we take it right out? And there you have it. That is the VX0101. And immediately the first thing you can tell that strikes is the hex cut of the gun itself and the actual sort of gaps in the gun. You can see that if I show that right there you can see it's um, cut through which uh, I guess does reduce the overall weight of the gun as you can tell even here on the top of the barrel you've got a lot of space that's been cut out um, real nice sort of silver inner barrel with the AW custom words there and logo on top um, what I really like as well is the sights if you look down the sights here you'll see not only is it uh, sort of luminous orange but also at the very end it's green so if I can just get it lined up Hopefully, see if I can line that up. I'm doing a terrible job here, sorry. Um, as you can see, basically, it's the you can line up the orange and green, which I think is a really nice feature, having the both. And uh, another sort of nice little logo that's engraved right on the end there. Um, but anyways, overall, I think the sort of the main sort of uh, selling point of this gun is definitely the hex cut design and the stippling on the gun. That provides for definitely a much better grip. Um, as you can see, there's just slight stippling on the sides here for where your thick fingers, oops, excuse me, uh, where your fingers might end up. But I really like it. It just it, the feels light, although it feels sturdy, even though it's a full metal slide. Um, it's got the signature Armorworks uh, red sort of nozzles there. Um, really nice finish here with the silver inner bell. I really like that. And I just like this design, just having that open. Um, hex cut sort of design of the uh, the slide there at the top. Um, nice gold pins throughout, kind of give a bit of a flare there. And a uh, nice sort of huge magwell base here. Um, silver in design, there's even another armor works cut away sort of uh, engraved pattern in there. But as you can tell, it's really nicely designed. And I like how even though they are stippling here, they made sure to include sort of some flat smooth surfaces for where your thumbs and the rest of your fingers might sort of rest in so that your finger doesn't really rub up against the stippling which is really really nice there, a nice touch. Um, the magazine release is nice and big so it's pretty easy to get away from. Um, a lot of space here in the um, trigger guard which is really nice and even there's some stippling right on the bottom here just for further grip I guess when you're um, holding onto the gun. Um, on the other side here, same sort of deal and um, yeah, I like how here it says uh, AW Custom Training Weapon. 
which is really cool as well. Um, overall, I think a really nice gun. I like the hex cut on this metal slide as well, because when you go to rack it, either you know you got a good grip up here, or you can do it from here. However, you end up racking the, the slide. Um, just overall, a really sturdy gun and really well designed. I really like the look of this thing. Um, I'm not usually for very flashy guns. I I kind of look go for the more camouflage style. But I gotta say, for something like CQB, this gun would be pretty sweet to use. Um, then we'll go to the magazine. Um, just put the gun back there. The magazine is very aptly designed as sort of a bright um, kind of steel color and that really works well because with the holes in the magazine uh, in the, sorry in the um, pistol grip as you slide the magazine in it just adds that extra sort of um, sort of flare to the gun having that little shiny sort of center there. Um, magazine slides out pretty well right off the bat. This is a stock uh, mag. As you can see there's another um, red, I guess yeah, the sort of touch there to show you signify it just like you have here, signify the armor work custom. But overall I think it's just a really sturdy, really nice gun. I mean stock right out the box, it performs really well. It's ultra light and it's a really crisp recoil when you fire the gun. There's AW, um, which is Armor Works logos engravings all over the place. And actually the threaded outer battle, um, as you can see here, sorry, if you look in, I don't know, you might not be able to tell in, this, in the light. But uh, it's actually already threaded, ready for you to mount compensators or suppressors, which is really great. Um, there's an integrated accessory rail right here. Um, there's a slight groove you can see right there, so that's already ready for mounting flashlights and lasers, which is really nice for a Glock here, or not a Glock, um, but I guess a Glock style gun, um, because it's just ready for you to just start attaching things without needing adapters and such. And um, yeah, I think generally this is a really nice gun. There's a large magazine base plate here for a firm sort of grip on the gun. It's got a, for in terms of um, the actual specifications, it's got a 93 millimeter inner barrel, which is about 3.6 inch um, an inner barrel, and it fires at 320 FPS on 0.2 gram BBs right out the box, which is pretty decent. Um, unfortunately, I don't have gameplay of this gun. I, I have had a try, have had a go at this. Um, the gameplay for the gun just uh, didn't turn out very well in terms of recording, but. I mean, I gotta say, if you take uh, take it from me, the gun fires really crisply. It's pretty damn accurate right out the box. I use this actually in an outdoor game and not an indoor game. And um, I gotta say, the gun works really well right out the box. It looks nice. I mean, if this is oops, excuse me, if this is your cup of tea, you know, if you enjoy this sort of hex design, um, this looks like it's uh, sort of a big, heavy job that costs a lot. But actually, in fact, it doesn't cost very much at all. And for a for a pistol to come out like this stock with all the custom designs and the way it performs with the snappy recoil for it being relatively ultra light for the full metal slide um, I gotta say this is a very good gun and I definitely highly recommend it so if you're interested that is Armor Works' VX0101 it's their VX series their hex cut pistol and uh, yeah go over and check them out because they got some really nice stuff there this is not the only model they've got a bunch of different custom designs um, this is just one of them that I got to try out and it was really nice so there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that review and uh, if you want to see any more let me know in the comments below if you think there's a way I can improve, feel free, this is just me kind of trying this, having a go at it, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.